Tower Defense Simulator is a very popular Roblox game with a huge range of creative features like the towers. I mean, you have the minigunner, the commander, and the hacker. Uh, actually, you do not because this is an unreleased tower, a mysterious unit which hasn't yet appeared in the game. As TDS has a staggering amount of content which just never ended up in the game. Pages upon pages upon pages of teasers and promotional leaks that just vanish. I want to look at some of the most interesting pieces of cut or abandoned content in TDS. One of the earliest abandoned towers was the gold mine. Unlike some other units in this video, I'd say there is a 0% chance of this thing ever being released. The gold mine was only teased a single time in a poll in 2019, where the tower was the least popular option, although the other two did end up in the game. Plus the described function kinda just sounds like an alternate version of farm, which would make a very weird balancing dichotomy. It's been three and a half years, the original discord message has been long deleted, I cannot imagine this tower will be released. Something that seems more likely to come out are some skins from the catalog of 25 plus teasers. Now some have come out, such as the ducky gladiator, however it was reworked from the duck to a beach theme, and it took a year and a half. Kind of highlighting the problem with all these skins, they seem to take a disproportionate amount of time to be released. And the pool gladiator is a rare outlier among the general trend of them staying vaulted. In early 2021, Razutix, TDS's co-owner, announced that Camaris, John Drinking, and Your Adversary would be focusing on creating new skins and maps for the game, and in the following months, teasers would be posted to the TDS Discord. John Drinking focused on more mature military themed skins, as well as creating a themed skin crate, starting with the Vigilante series, teased throughout March 2021. There were images of skins for Accelerator, Shotgunner, Gladiator, Mortar, Pyromancer, and Electroshocker, all with a cohesive theme, all still unreleased two years later. Although I feel these have a higher chance of eventually coming out as opposed to some of the one-off skins, as recently there was a themed crate released in the Cold Front series. And like, there's no way they would scrap an entire crate worth of skins, right? Right? Some of the other individual skins he created consisted of Bounty Hunter Cowboy, Pirate Demo Man, Apocalypse Military Base, this one was actually pretty sick. Hotshot Ace Pilot, Steampunk Ranger, Black Ops Millie Base, and two Pursuit Skins, a tower which currently still has none, being the PMC and Prototype Pursuit. There was also the Noir Skin, which was interesting because it was originally for the Crook Boss Tower, and was eventually released, except significantly remodeled for an entirely different tower in Cowboy which was strange. Camaris, or Jace, also created a range of skins with more broad themes. There was the Cheerleader Commander, and another themed conceptual crate in the Phantom Crate, featuring skins for Ranger, Commander, Engineer, Gladiator, Sledger, and Toxic Gunner. I like this aesthetic a lot more than the Vigilante set, and again, I feel there's still a solid chance it eventually makes it into the game. There's also the Grand Mage Medic, and the Frost Mortar, and of course they worked on the Frieza remake. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, they were also creating skins for a planned Neko Crate, including a Cat Mortar. Those are Nitro Booster leaks, so I'm not going to show the images. Although the number of unreleased skins is certainly impressive, it's hardly comparable to the massive number of maps, as there are over 20 teased unreleased maps made by your adversary. Hotspot, Unknown Garden, this one gives up our hardcore reps, U-Turn, a Toy Board remake, four unnamed maps, a Desert Village remake, Backwoods, Work in Progress City, Fracture Zone, Waste Ground, a Spring Fever remake, a Construction Crazy remake, which itself had another previously unused remake variant, I mean we got remakes on remakes here, a Sky Islands remake, a Dead Ahead remake, a Cataclysm remake, and a Grid of 9 maps, where these top 3 are still unreleased and appear to be a Dusty Bridges remake, a Winter Abyss remake maybe, and I'm not too sure about the last one, maybe Cataclysm, as well as the Fogged Layer map, which hasn't been released. Most recently on a grid of 4 more maps, both Petulance Grounds and Weeper's Gale are unreleased. Lastly, there's a few other, more iconic maps, such as the Halloween 2019 Nightmare Carnival, which had a remake planned in 2020, but this never came out. The old end of the line map, which used to award Cowboy, had a similar remake planned around the same time period, that of course never came out. It's pretty wild just how much content stays vaulted, especially considering the unknown amounts that just aren't teased, like who knows what they're cooking. But still, these 50 plus unused assets don't really change the way the game is played, unlike some of the other tower leaks, which get very interesting. The most iconic unreleased tower is of course Hacker, which, uh, hey, if you're enjoying the video, please subscribe. It only takes a second, and I spent a lot of time on this video, so I would really appreciate it. It, it. it had one promotional image made, and was later present in an obscured teaser of the Hardcore Towers, seeming to prove it would cost gems. But I actually think the Hacker will be released eventually, mainly due to what happened with Engineer. This tower was in the same screenshot as Hacker, had been known of for years, was
was reworked multiple times and never had any real indication it was coming out. Until they just, kinda randomly, dropped it with the Easter update. And I have a feeling something similar will happen with Hacker. The only real difference is, uh, we've gotten a lot less teasers for this tower. Like, based on teasers, they might have just made this one model and that's it. But hey, listen, all I'm saying is, August 18th, 2023, 12pm EST. But something far less discussed is the origin of this tower, as it won in the Twitter popularity poll against three other towers which never appeared in game. Or did they? I would argue the concepts of these unreleased towers have all made their way into the game. I imagine Glue Gunner would have functioned very similarly to Toxic Gunner, shooting Glue to slow and debuff enemies. Army Barracks was absent for a long time, but I would say the recent addition of Elf Camp pretty much fulfills the role. A humanoid spawning tower with different classes of units. Mercenary is a bit less specific of a name, and it might just be the other duration, but I feel like this could have possibly been the early name for what eventually became Militant, a basic military themed tower with a realistic reloading feature. This seems to illustrate how tedious concepts consistently evolve over time, and change even before they are released. Or I could be totally wrong. Who knows? One tower that no one really knows much about is Brawler, an unreleased tower that was teased once in the Nitro Booster channel, so I can't show it, uh, and has been leaked by hackers. This tower would punch people, and at some point had a base DPS of 2. From what footage is on YouTube, it doesn't seem that exciting. Unlike one of the most promising features in TDS, Evolved Towers, this was a concept intended to replace Golden Crates. Instead of spending 50,000 coins to get a skin and a stat buff, you would get a whole new tower. The three known are Operator, replacing Gold Scout, Kingpin, replacing Gold Crook Boss, and Juggernaut, replacing Gold Mini. These were apparently meant to be released with a hardcore overhaul update, that didn't really happen. These were actually briefly publicly visible during the hardcore update, and were also achieved in game by hackers. However, we haven't heard any progress updates on these guys for, you know, two years? Except for a written confirmation that they haven't been scrapped. And this is actually a feature that recently could take a very long time, as the team would have to create six essentially brand new towers. So overall, I do have a lot of confidence Evolve Towers will eventually come out. April 7th, 2024. Finally, there's a lot of other miscellaneous teased updates which I can't really predict either way, with one exception being that this lobby will never come out. There's actually a winter themed version of the Hardcore 2020 lobby. However, due to TDS not updating for half a year, by the time the corresponding update came out, an entirely new lobby had been made. Another lobby related feature that might come out was the Armory, where you could inspect your tower skins in 3D. Admittedly, this isn't the most groundbreaking feature, but it would be fun. Over a year before matchmaking came out, this loading sequence was teased, and I'm kinda bitter we didn't get this because this cutscene is way more clean than the actual version. And the most interesting leak was elemental perks, which would have allowed towers to add various effects to their weapons, such as fire, freezing, or haste. I don't really get that one, like, are you gonna make the zombies faster? The implications of this update would likely change the entire meta of the game, and I have a hard time imagining this would actually come out. It's another 2020 feature. Here it felt like the developers were just making new plans every week, and it would need a lot of balancing not to just completely destroy the game. Plus, it has been years since the last teaser, so you know how that goes. And there's a ton more unseen TDS content. That isn't just an end of the video hook. Genuinely, there's enough to make like, at least two and a half more videos. Speaking of videos, thanks to everyone that borrowed footage from, their channels are in the description. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching, comment what you think the most interesting piece of cut content here is.